program's history. Georgia wins the national title, and we've got some other notes to get to in college sports, but I thought you could kind of tell this would be a different Georgia team after about the first half. Even though Alabama still had the lead, it just seemed like Georgia was one play away if they were going to get it, and they got more than one. Well, the game... I mean, if, if you take away the names of the teams, the way the game was playing out to me was if somebody hits a big play in this game, it's going to open the whole thing up. It's going to loosen everybody up. Of course, it didn't happen until late in the third quarter, really, you know, when they started scoring touchdowns, you know, the thing that you're supposed to score. It, it, it felt to me like they forgot that a little bit. And both neither coach was really being all that aggressive early on. They were, they were kind of playing uh, chess with each other for quite a while. But uh, credit to Georgia for being able to – uh, grab momentum, lose momentum, and then grab it back against Alabama, which is kind of what happened with A&M. A&M grabbed momentum from them, lost it for a long time. It looked like the wheels had come off, and then they grabbed it back. I think that's really the only way you can beat Alabama is to withstand you know, their comeback on you, and that's what happened with Georgia. Uh, Stetson Bennett set for life now in, in and around the areas of Athens and Atlanta. Uh, he'll He'll – Never pay for a beer again. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was a great story, but that was just a fantastic Georgia team all year long. And they finally looked, I say finally looked, this time against Alabama, they looked mostly like the team they were all year long. Yeah, it was a fun field goal kicking contest for, for half that game. I mean, neither team could get in the end zone, and uh, you got to credit both defenses for that. But, yeah, I mean, credit to Georgia for just sticking it, uh, sticking in there, fighting through, and, you know, they're down most of that game. Or, you know, even if it was close, typically Alabama was leading that game uh, for the majority, and, you know, Georgia just stayed with it and eventually popped a couple of big plays, and, and that was all she wrote. I mean, it is like a touchdown counted for 20 points last night, it mm -hmm. felt like, because because of just all the field goals that were having to be kicked early on. I mean, the first five scores of that game were field goals, and then the last five out of the last or five out of the last six scores were touchdowns. So uh, definitely a tale of two halves uh, for sure. But yeah, I mean, awesome moment for Kirby Smart. I mean, they've been building this thing for a while now. Uh, they've been at the top or near the top of the recruiting rankings for the last several years, and they just couldn't get over that one hump, uh, really. And uh, now they've gotten over that, and they're a program that's in great shape and obviously a brand-new national title. You wonder what they can do with that, given what they've done without having that in their back pocket. But uh, now, yeah, a totally different program the way you view them because they do have a, a recent national title and not something that, you know, last took place when 41-year-olds were, were being born. Uh, that's how long they had to wait. So, uh, yeah, uh, great second half of that. I mean, the first half I didn't think was like a bad game per se. I know a lot of people were pretty bored. Um, you know, I look at it as like it was just two really good defenses going at it, but there was a little bit left to be desired. You know, Alabama's injuries didn't help that matter on offense, but uh, yeah, uh, great job by the Bulldogs. Way to finish it off and way to make up for what they missed out on with the SEC championship. And, and I think outside of that too, though, one of the things that really kind of hurt the flow of the game was it was a rematch from two coaches who know each other so well, so especially and defensive-minded head coaches. So when you have guys like that, I expected it to be about a quarter of maybe nothing happening because they knew each other so well and then somebody would pop it open. It just lasted a lot longer of they just knew each other's moves or knew how to respond I think what happened so is well. Georgia realized that if they didn't try to make something happen down the field, yeah. that they were never going to score as far as, uh, you know, their defense played out of their mind as they did most, as you mentioned, Craig, up until the second, third, and fourth quarter against Alabama, and they just finally said the hell with it. I mean, this Stetson Bennett was not great. Uh, Bryce Young took more hits in that game than probably even even the loss to A&M and College Station. But in the end, it turned out to be kind of back and forth. And uh, Georgia wins it all first time since 1980. Congratulations to Kirby Smart. Congratulations to Georgia. And they'll be ranked uh, in number one, two, or three, or four next year, along with Alabama and Ohio State and, and others. I 